How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Wolfgang the Warlock Let's Play. So, we got a lot accomplished last episode and we finally got our amazing gem staff and our gem armor, which is pretty cool. We got the sapphire robe, which is kind of nice. And it has meant that we have a better chance of spawning uh, the rare mob Tim underground. So I think our first mission is to go get the magic wizard hat. Um, another thing I want to do is get a bit of a plant farm started. We've been pretty lucky just picking plants up off the ground, um, but it would be great to get that happening. But one thing I really want to do first, and I can't believe I didn't think of it, and this is a oh, golden butterfly! Sorry, just a sec. Come here, you little fella. No, don't fly into the sky! How are we going to get it? <laughs> Come, yeah, that's it. Come to Wolfgang. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, they've got actually massive bait power. That's kind of cool. I like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, before I got distracted, I love Terraria. You're always learning something new. And some of you suggested, they said, well, why don't you make the string item at the accessory, at, at the loom? Because it's an accessory and you've got a chance of getting a good modifier. So I've got free accessory slots. We might get warding or we might get menacing. You never know. So I've got enough cobwebs to make about three. So, four, sorry. So let's see what we get. Okay, there's a chance we get nothing, but we'll just have a go. No, oh my gosh. Yeah, 2% <laughs> movement speed, woo! <laughs> oh gosh. But the cool thing about this is we can also, yeah, I might just take the gold, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's take the gold. All right, the cool thing is we can keep picking up any uh, cobwebs we find on our travels and uh, keep adding them and I probably made too much silk. That's okay though. So we have tons of cash now. So let's put our gold in the piggy so it's nice and safe. And we are going hunting for Tim. Okay, we'll just pick that up ever so quickly. Have a little scout there. I think there's more topaz. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And some of you were saying it might be cool if we made like little themed rooms for... Oh, it's a gem room. Wow. That's kind of cool. That is actually pretty cool. Oh, and there's a Shelly. Oh, and there's Silt. Wow. This is like Land of Gems. Oh, it's got rubies, guys. It's got rubies. Yes. We like. That means we can probably make a ruby robe. A ruby robe. So you've got alliteration, how can you go wrong? I was actually surprised that when you harvest gem walls, you don't actually get gems. I thought you might get a couple more gems. Or like a chance at gems, wouldn't that be pretty cool? Because I don't think, it's not like the gems regenerate, so... I don't know. I guess it's just a cool little foot. Ah, oh, is that a, is that what I think it is? Ah, oh, Shelly, Shelly, no! <laughs> don't do it, Shelly! Alright, we can do this. That's it. Stunlock you, my friend. Mwahahaha. You are no match for Wolfgang. Alright. we got to be careful. There could be boulders anywhere. Oh. Yes, we will definitely take that life. Thank you. And there's cobwebs on the roof. Always nice. Let's just put a torch here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright. Is that an emerald? Just a random emerald. Alright, I kind of want to grab... There's like silk galore in here. So... It would make sense to get it. Alright, let's go... Let's actually dig up and around. Okay. <gasps> a life crystal! Oh my gosh! Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> That's so cool. You never would have thought of looking in this tiny little area. That's so awesome. Oh my god, look at it. It's just like sitting in a little underground pool. That is just too awesome. Wow. But we will definitely take that. Now, I just realized, because we've hit 200 health, is it is 200 the cap for Eye of Cthulhu? Or is it Goblin Invasion? I know some certain things start once you reach a certain amount of health or armor. I can't remember which. I've only got 7 armor, so... I think it's 10 armor or 200 health or something. I can't quite remember. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments. Oh gosh, okay, we're getting lots of ore. We're actually... We're doing okay. We're doing alright. I wish, probably... If I could wish for anything, I wish we would find some treasure. You know, like golden treasure boxes. That's probably the one thing we're not finding at the moment. Alrighty, 
Let's make our way down. Oh, look at all those cobwebs. <gasps> yes. It must be a spider biome. Danger sense. You have already proven your worth. More than you could ever believe. So, obviously spiders are not nice, but... Cobwebs, that means we can re-roll for our string a couple more times. <laughs> uh, it's so cool. I think this is the... Is this like the only accessory you can make from nothing? Like, I don't know. Can you craft any other accessories? I don't think so. And when I say craft, guys, I don't mean like put rocket boots with, um, you know, Hermes boots to make Spectre boots. Like, that's not what I mean by that. Okay. Oh, there's like a, a minecart track. Okay, that's kind of cool. Alright, let's just try and get some light around. Oh, look at all these cobwebs. This is amazing. Alright, I'm just going to like spam. Spammy spam. Let's try and get the light up. Oh, am I at torches again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> glow sticks it is. Oh, I'm not out of glow sticks, am I? Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna play in the dark. All right. Oh my gosh, so many cobwebs, this is amazing. Okay, we can't do this. We'll have to come back later. <laughs> oh gosh, that was fun. Okay, so it's time to get crafting. So we make the robe and then, oh. Yeah, that's pretty good. It is a direct upgrade to our sapphire robe. Yes, it is. Okay, and now we've got some yeah, pulsating red clothing going on. Okay, it's kind of cool. And we can probably sell some of our junk off here. I'll keep that butterfly. I don't need that. Don't need the rally or that. Oh, God, no. No. Um, I'll keep the sapphire robe. We talked about maybe making a gallery to put all the gem staffs and the robes, which I think is kind of cool. Alrighty, next thing we're going to try is to make some more white string to see if we can get a cool accessory. So, let's go to our loom again, and let's cross our fingers. <laughs> oh, lucky! <gasps> now that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So it puts our crit chance up to 12. Let's try just a few more, see if we get a warding. <laughs> oh my god! Another lucky. And a wild. And a normal. And last one. Oh, three luckies. <laughs> that is just too funny. Wow. No way. Okay, well, I'm kind of happy with the crit strike up upgrade there. Um, because we definitely, definitely needed that. Uh, we got all that silt, so let's put some in the extractinator. And see if we get anything cool out of this. So, extractinate, extractinate. And get all this cool stuff. It seems... I don't know, it seems a bit random to be useful, personally. Like... Or, I guess to get a meaningful amount of, like, an ore you need, you'd probably need, like, a thousand silt, maybe two. You know, so, okay, we're missing gold bars to make a ruby staff. And, you know, I'd need, like, you need ten gold bars, so that's, like, forty gold ore. So, let's see how much we got. Yeah, so I got eight gold ore, so it's enough for two bars, but that was, like, from two hundred silt, so... Yeah, I think it takes just a little while... But that's okay, that's alright. So what I might do is just... I made an extractinator box... Oh no, fishing box. Oh, that's the extractinator box. Whoops. I made an extractinator box, and what I thought would be cool is we can just dump everything in there. And then, like, yeah, if we need a little extra something or other, we can just check the box. Alright. Um, now we've got some more health. I reckon we'll make a V-line straight down for the underworld to see if we can't find Tim. Apparently he spawns really close to the underworld. So let's do it.
right. <gasps> Life crystal, totally worth it. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Yeah. All right, let's use one and save the other one. And there's granite elemental. Sucky, sucky. Oi, oi, hey, hey, hey. None of that, thank you. And welcome back to the quickest way to the underworld, blowing stuff up with bombs. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I've done this before. I really, really enjoy it. <laughs> it's so fun. Okay, I think we've blasted our way through. Excellent. <gasps> Another life crystal. This is amazing. I hope Tim spawns soon. Alright, come on bats. That's it. Let me get my life crystal. Lovely. And I put our spare one, I put it in our crafting chest. Hey, hey buddy. Uh, so when we're going to make our arena for Io Cthulhu, we can, we can, we can, we can, uh, make the Heart Lantern then, which will be nice. Can you stop curling into a bowl, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, we probably should grab the granite blocks. Why not? And what I'll do is I'll just keep blasting straight through. It's probably easier. I don't like crisscrossing when I'm making a elevator. Alright, beautiful. Alright, I reckon we're in Tim country now, guys. So he could spawn at any time. Any time. So, there's a pressure plate. Whoa. I don't know. I'll just get my map so I can see. Is there anything over there? No. Uh, let's blast through here. Whoa! <laughs> Oh gosh, oh a minecart track. That's kind of fun. Oh no, I'm gonna blow it up. Whoops! <laughs> I blew it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry! I wonder if I can fix it. Okay, let's try and fix the minecart track. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Alright. Boom. Okay. Let's see where it goes. This is cool. Do 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 Going on a little minecart adventure here people and it is fun Uh yeah kinda cool Oh end of the line suckers Let's just <gasps> it's a gem cave Yes And it's got emeralds and sapphires by the looks of things <gasps> If we get enough sapphires we can try and reforge our our um our thingy. Oh, it's got diamonds. <gasps> this is the best gem cave ever. Wow. Yeah, we can try and remake our sapphire stuff and try and get a better one. Oh my gosh, it's got diamonds. It's got diamonds. We've got diamonds. This is so good. Oh my gosh. This is so amazingly good. Oh, there's more di- Wow. <gasps> I wonder what, what bar do you need to make diamond staff? Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. Can you tell I'm excited? This is this is pretty cool. And you know, I wasn't I wasn't gonna go out especially spelunking for gems, but you know the fact we've bumped into this is kinda cool. Alright, is that all of them? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, let's just grab the lead too. Oh, I'm kind of tempted now. Do you want to ride the minecart track the other way? <gasps> I wonder what it's got. And I guess we kind of... It makes sense. I mean, we're waiting for Tim to spawn, so... You know? Alright, here we go. I've got the torch back out. The bats are trying to kill me. Oh my gosh. Alright, that's where we were before. Let's play some torches as we're going. Oh! <laughs> 
Nice reflexes, Happy. That was that was pretty good. Okay, that not so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it just goes through the lava. Right. Well, that's not good design. <laughs> I don't approve. All right. Let's. Oh, it just ends here. I am disappointed. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, oh, 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 oh dear. Yeah, we can't beat that. We need to get out of here. Uh, yeah, we might. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. <gasps> I want to get to the underground room. I feel this feels like we're when we're in that uh, desert biome early. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Heal, heal, heal. Can we just get the chest? <gasps> boots! 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 Run for your life! <laughs> Run for your life. <laughs> we got boots. <laughs> yes! How cool is that? And I had damage mod. <gasps> this is so good, guys. I'm excited to see if we can't... If we can't... Yeah, we've got tons of platinum. <gasps> and we've got diamond! I think we can make the, um, we should be able to make a diamond staff. Oh my gosh, look at this, mobs everywhere. <gasps> yes, we can make one. Oh my god. That's so awesome. Look at the damage. <gasps> All right, you ready? Because we can only make one. So hopefully get a good modifier. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, it's just normal, but that's okay. <gasps> it's got autocast. Yes. This is so good! Oh my gosh. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, that's working nice. Oh yeah, we like that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm out of mana. Oh. Did I make a star in the bottle? Yeah, I have. Whee! <laughs> okay. This is cool. Alright, we're quite happy with this upgrade. Now, <laughs> this this Tim business. I want I want to get Tim. This is this is getting out of control, guys. So, I don't think I'm happy ending the episode until we have some team action going on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a super simple farm. So what I'm going to do, I'll just sort my inventory, I'll get back down to the underworld layer, or just above it, and I'll set up a nice easy farm. And hopefully, that gets us a team to spawn. Let's do it! Alright guys, Tim is here. He is finally here. So we are going to put the smack down on him. That wizardy beast. And we're going to take his hat. Oh yeah, we have the wizard hat. Oh my goodness. And if you can't tell from the area, I've been here for a little while. <laughs> oh gosh. So we're going to set bonus. 10% increased magic critical strike. Which is, wow, we've got 22% crit on our diamond staff now. Which is actually really good. Um, coupled with the diamond staff, it has a slight piercing attack. Uh, it's not infinite, but it does pierce one or two enemies, which is actually really cool. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. And as I was just starting to say, if you can't tell from the setup, I've been here for a little while. And I just kept, and this is the, you know, if you're trying to get a rare mob, you know, you just start making a farm and you keep refining it and playing with it and eventually, um, you know, you'll get what you want. It just takes a while. So, yeah, but it's been fun and uh, it was totally worth it because 
Yeah, I'm really liking that setup. I reckon we can... I'm confident now beating Eye of Cthulhu. Alright, let's make our way back to base. Oh gosh, it's a Blood Moon as well. Alright. Well, I'll do a bit of inventory sorting, and then we can move on with our next step. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Ah, so many monsters! Run! Run for your life! Look at them all! Oh my goodness! Ah! Alrighty, thanks as always for watching another episode of Wolf King the Warlock. We did a massive amount of powering up this episode, but I think we're going to need it because we're going to have a bit of a boss rush. Uh, most likely in the next episode. We'll be doing Eye of Cthulhu for sure. And, uh... Ugh, <laughs> the Brain of Cthulhu is probably one of my most dreaded bosses, actually, because it, it's actually quite difficult. Um, but the Diamond Staff should help a lot, so... Yeah, so we'll see how we go with that anyway. Um, Alright, guys, it's time for some shout-outs as always. And if you're new to our channel, uh, basically, if you'd like me to do a shout-out for you, just leave a comment uh, asking uh, what you'd like me to say. So I don't just do shout-outs for names. I just sort of, you can ask for a song lyric or a movie quote or just anything random, tongue twisters, stuff like that. And uh, I pick five from the list each day. So our first one is from Doomed Gaming. And they've asked me to say in a robot voice, objective start, eat all cookies. <laughs> Thanks, Doomed. That's awesome. Our next one is from Snowbound Cupcake. And they've asked me to say in a Wolf King voice, give me cookies, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snowbound. That's awesome. Alrighty, our next one is from Zeodal. And they've asked me to say in a Yaren voice. They've asked me to say bye bye, Skeletron. Hello, Dungeon. <laughs> Thanks, that Zeodal. That's awesome. Our next one is from JB, and this is a really tough one. Uh, they've asked me to do a tongue twister, and it's citrus dish soap. Five times really fast. So, oh, here we go. <gasps> citrus dish soap. <laughs> dish soap. Dish soap. <laughs> you can't do it. It's too hard. <laughs> Thanks, JB, though. I love the challenge. That's cool. And our last... Our last <laughs> I can't even talk now. Our last one is from Devin... Devin versus Gaming. Devin vs. Gaming. And they've asked me to say cook, cookie crumb five times fast. So, <gasps> cookie crumb, cookie crumb, cookie crumb, cookie crumb, cookie crumb! <laughs> oh gosh, thanks so much guys. Uh, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. And uh, there was a lot of mining in this video, so I tried as much as possible to speed up segments without doing full jump cuts. Um, but we did have a lot of mining to do, and I just wanted to get it done now, so we can really power on with the series. Alright, uh, so leave a like if you enjoyed it. Keep those comments coming for suggestions of what you'd like to see in our upcoming uh, wool, wool, wool wolf. <laughs> werewolf, I was going to say, in our upcoming uh, Warlock episodes. You know, I love suggestions. You know, this is as much your series as it is mine. So get involved. And if you haven't subscribed, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. All right, here's the most important part, as always. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Hopper Day signing out. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!